Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Recreating. Today, I'm going to show you guys how to make Ocula from Small Soldiers. Stay tuned. Hey guys, so before we jump into the video, I just want to let you know this is a collaboration with Edward Littleton. Uh, his link is down below. He basically started off with the uh, Ocula from Burger King and then he created this and then he sent it out to me and then I created this out of it. So if you guys want to see the whole process, how it all started, make sure you guys go check out Edward Littleton's video uh, and make sure you guys subscribe to his channel. Uh, links down below and go check it out. That way you guys stay informed of what happened in the whole process from the Burger King toy uh, up to this guy. So go check it out and without any further ado, let's get right into the video. All right guys, so I already started on this Ocula. If you guys saw my last video, a friend of mine uh, sent me one of these uh, Oculus that he made himself. Uh, it came out really good and I'm just adding to it. Uh, you see it yellow because the yellow that I had kind of killed the, the paint that I originally had because the paint was still kind of wet. Uh, even till today, I could still feel some parts are wet. Uh, never buy that spray paint. Uh, what was it? Oh, I don't have it anymore. I think I threw it away, but um, I would never buy that. I had the same spray paint and I just painted one of my uh, action figures the same way with that spray paint and it was horrible. It wouldn't dry up for nothing. No matter what you did to it, it wouldn't dry up. So um, I would never buy that spray paint again. Anyways, uh, so I had to repaint it all yellow so that's why it looks yellow anyways that's beside the point uh, the point is that I already started sculpting it so this is what the original legs look like or the feet uh, unfortunately I had to take it apart because I couldn't sculpt it any other way and this is what it looks like now and that's what the feet are gonna look like and then this is the last part where I did the little cab muscle here and I reshaped it and it also has a little hinge at the end so now it moves back and forth I also did a little bit of this because I had extra and so I just put it on there so that's the reason why it's there but I am still gonna feel a lot more here uh, a lot more it's gonna go to the back to make it a little bit thicker here on this part right here is gonna be a little bit thicker and then I'm gonna do the exact same thing to all three of his legs and then attach them the exact same way I attached this one. Uh, there's like a little peg there. Uh, let's see if the camera focuses on it. Is it gonna focus on it? There you go. There's like a little peg, as you guys could see. Basically like an action figure. So you can move it like back and forth whenever I need it to, which would be cool. Uh, it'll look all great once I finish painting it. I'll uh, we'll do a whole repaint of it and then uh, shade it and do all the things, repaint the eye, repaint everything it needs. So uh, let me show you how I cut the feet and shape it into uh, this foot right here. So what I did is cut this part off. Okay, so there it is. I cut the sides and I'm gonna reshape it to make it look a little bit. And also I gotta cut these to make it look like this. Basically cut it in this way. So let me do that. All right, so basically cut off all of this trimming that was around here. All the trimming, all that stuff that was around here to make it more to that shape. Now I'm gonna dig into here and 
shape the toes. All right guys, so I put um, epoxy in all the legs. So like I said, I had to take off the legs. Um, I had to take this off because I put this wrong. I still have to chop this one off as well and make it facing the right way. Same thing as this one. It has to be facing this way. Uh, originally it was facing this way, so it looked kind of weird. So I had to chop it off and um, make it face this way. And then uh, I put some epoxy here for uh, the joint part so you can see the joints and it would still move I don't want to move it because uh, it's gonna mess up but it basically has a joint just like this one all right guys so I added texture to it a bunch of like little lines because it looks like a like skin texture basically. If you look at your skin, it has like skin texture. So that's what I did. There are a bunch of little lines on it to give it a little bit of texture. And now I'm gonna paint it. So there is Ocula folks, all done, all painted, sculpted, she is complete, from head to toe. The sextio, there's his eyeball, just the bottom of him, 
He also does his little leg thing and the little joints on him. So now he could do a little dance number. Three, 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 three. And yeah, he is complete. Uh, thank you again, once again, uh, Edward Littleton. If you guys haven't checked out his channel, go check it out. Uh, I'll leave a link down below. He sent me this, and um, it originally looked like this. And now it looks like this. I added a few things to it. I modified it a little bit, and I painted it. So, um, yeah. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this little tutorial, please make sure you guys hit the thumbs up. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe because if you guys do, guess what? You guys will see me on the next one. Peace.